plane and project its other view. Uh, for example, as we see in reference figure number 3 in previous page illustration. So, these are the basic steps that we are going to use to solve the problems and we will apply the same steps to solve the next problems. Let us take an example. In our example, a rectangular pentagon. So, pentagon shape is given. The, you know the pentagon shape. So, in our example, rectangle pentagon of 25 mm side is given. So, one side is on the ground and its plane is inclined to 45 degree to HP. So, let us say this is a surface. So, this pentagon is making 45 degree centigrade to the surface plane. So, this is the initial position and perpendicular to the VP. So, draw its projection and show its traces Mates, means we need to generate its top view and front view. Let us see the animation. This is our XY line. So, the hint is the plane is inclined to HP and it should be kept parallel to the HP with one edge perpendicular to the VP. So, here two things are given. The first one is the inclination with HP that is 45 degree and it's, it is perpendicular to the vertical plane. So, this is the hint point that this information we are going to use while solving this problem. So, let us make first a re reference line x and y. So, we know that any plane parallel to the HP. So, our first position will be the true shape in top view. So, draw the pentagon with the help of uh, angle 72 degree below the XY line to obtain the true shape of pentagon. Hence, we get the top view of pentagon below the XY line. And it should be uh, drawn with the dimension 25. So, from after giving the name A, B, C, D, E, uh, while drawing the projection, if we trace this projection from the point A, B, C, D and E, we can obtain the front view of that pentagon on the xy line. So, that is to be written as a dash, b dash, c dash, e dash and d dash. We, we should observe that a dash and e dash will be the common point and b dash and d dash will be the common point. Actually, they are the different points can be visible in top view only. So, this is the first step. Uh, we need to complete in this manner. We know the one edge and that edge will be A and E is going to incline 45 degree with XY line. Hence, our point, we need to take this measurement to draw the second step. For example, let us take or open the compass by keeping the point on A dash to C dash and obtain an arc from any distance on X Y line suitable distance by keeping the point A dash and if we obtain the arc the C dash the same length will be drawn at 45 degree. So, we are using the length from the first step and 
we draw the line at 45 degree in the second step and the similar way by taking the distance a dash to b dash and obtain an arc let us say a dash b dash on the same line and hence we obtain a dash b dash c dash d dash and e dash at 45 degree and we are going from uh, front view to top view this by drawing the projection from first step top view if we get the intersection point we will get the second stage that is a1 b1 c1 d1 and e1 so our shape as we can see in the second stage the plane is inclined to 45 degree so simultaneously the top view of the second step stage is inclined hence the true shape is now changed to the reduced shape and hence the top view of that pentagonal will be the reduced size so here again we need to consider the two hints the first one is while given it is parallel to the horizontal plane our we need to start from the top view for example the top view in the first step and hence we get the front view and by drawing the inclination with the whole xy line we obtain the reduced top view in the second stage so this will be the first problem on the next problem uh, it's given as a circle plane of circle of 50 diameter having its plane vertical and inclined 30 degree to VP and its center is 30 mm above and to HP and 20 mm in front of VP to show its stresses in this problem let us draw first x y line and we need to take we need to use the projection of points to draw the initial position of the circle so the let us draw a circle with the center of which is 30 mm above the x y line and diameter of 50 mm and let us divide it into the 12 equal parts so we got the original shape we know the uh, here its inclination is given to the with reference to VP so the true shape of circle we are you obtain above the XY line and hence we need to give the name as 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash up to 12 dash in order to obtain the front view let us get a projection of that circle so on the first step uh, if we see the top view it will be the line and by obtaining the by drawing the projection of each and every points that we obtain we we can get the numbers 1 to 12 on the top view so here on the screen is 1 to 12 on the top view so here our first step is over and uh, now we are going to draw the second step that will be the final position and it is given as 30 degree to VP so in the vertical we can see the top view so if any plane is inclined to VP we can see exactly in the top view so we need to draw a line which is 30 degree to below the XY line because it is top view hence by taking the same distance 
from first step we can obtain the points 1 to 12 in the second stage so here the inclination is 30 degree it means the circular disc is inclined to VP and by drawing the projection and if we extend to the above XY line and by joining the line from the first step front view we can obtain the inclined view of the circular disk which can be seen as an ellipse and hence by completing the ellipse with the help of the obtained circle we get the true shape if you move to the next problem problem number four draw the projection of a rectangular hexagon of 25 mm side having one of its sides in HP and inclined at 60 degree to the VP and its surface making an angle 45 degree with horizontal plane. So here is the third condition that the inclination to the both reference plane. So first of all we are given a hexagonal plane hexagonal plate it will be looking like this so hexagonal plane in our problem it will be inclined first to the horizontal plane and then it will be inclined to the vertical plane so if it is inclined to the horizontal plane we need to draw first true shape true shape will be visible in the front view and then we need to incline so on the top view it can be seen like this way let us see step by step how to draw the inclined hexagonal plate so let us obtain xy line plane parallel to hp so as we know that the plane is inclined to the both plane let us draw the true shape of the hexagonal plane which is of 25 mm side and give them the name as a b c d e f by obtaining the projection from the each and every point the plane in the first position is on the vp so on the vp means the front view will be on the XY line. So A and B will give the same point. F and C will be in the middle and E and D will give us the same point on XY line. So on the next step, the plane is inclined to HP and it is 45 degree and perpendicular to the VP. So in the next step let us draw the A dash B dash to D dash E dash this distance at 45 degree to obtain the perpendicular to the VP. So this will be our second position. So we need to understand that when it is given inclination to the VP, we are drawing front view first. Let us obtain the AB distance to CF distance in the same way that we obtain that in pentagon problem. So let us take the distance A dash C dash and obtain an arc to obtain the points C dash F dash. So our front view is complete. Now by drawing the projection from the front view we can obtain the top view in this second stage and that will be our reduced size of 
hexagon and it will be presented in this way a1 b1 c1 till f1 so if we draw the projection from the second step front view and first step top view the intersecting point will give us a, the shape of reduced hexagon our problem is still continuing because we need to obtain this third step because this time it is also given the angle of 45 degree with the HP so we are now forgetting the initial position we will use the dimensions of the second step to obtain the incl inclined plane so this time it is making the angle with the horizontal plane it means we need to draw a 60 degree line to the reference of xy line it means we need to draw a 60 degree line to the horizontal plane and we are generating the same we are using the same dimensions to obtain the 60 degree hexagon figure so we can use this we need to just copy the second step top view hexagon to obtain the top view of the inclined hexagon with the reference to HP and the final step will be if we extend the projection of the second step front view and if we join or if we extend the top view of the third step to intersect the projections from the second step front view the hexagon figure will be obtained so that is our final figure of that inclined plane that is inclined hexagon which is inclined to the both of plane so the third step gives us the final which is uh, 45 degree to the VP and 60 degree.